The memories. The memories. Snuggle times. So who's gonna make breakfast? Under one condition. I just had such a craving for pancakes the entire duration of this shoot. She makes them. <laughs> so this we shot on a separate day after we wrapped, right? Yeah. This was like a pickup day because we needed more adorableness. Because what? We needed more adorableness. More adorableness. <laughs> That was a great time because we just got to eat ice cream for the day, which was great. Ah, uh, the trusty denim jacket. That has made it into so many things. Yeah. Also, fun fact, Natasha gave me that jacket after we filmed because it was originally Natasha's jacket. <laughs> it was then, like the only thing you wanted to keep from yeah. wardrobe too. <laughs> and the black pants, which you are currently wearing right, right now. Right now. Yeah, you can't have these. Not Sorry. that I'm bitter about it. <laughs> Oh yeah, this was. Have the you ever scene. just like? Have you ever um, hmm? been home alone and and uh, you know been taking care of business and had a roommate walk in? Whoa. No. No. Good for you. <laughs> can't can't say that I have. I lived with dudes though, so yeah, that's times were times were hard. I don't think I've ever had Pizza Hut buffet. Really? Yeah. There was like a little Sunday bar at the end where you could Ugh. make your own ice cream Sunday. That was the best part. I feel really deprived now. I loved that outfit so much. The suspender shirt with your jeans that you're wearing right now that I'm totally not mad that you own and I don't. And that was like half of your clothes, actually. Yeah, I think so. But also, like, this was our first feature. Like, I mean, man, you did such a great job. Like, it's our no first way. feature. You did. <laughs> Thanks, man. Have a dog that wears like a tiny hat. Well, you're so lovely in this. <laughs> I mean, you can still have. I've literally worn this shirt for like a week now. I just keep on all those star stickers. It's really funny. I went home to my childhood home at the beginning of the summer, and um, and I looked up when I was going to sleep in my childhood bedroom, and I actually have star stickers on my ceiling, and I don't I remember had those, ever yeah. having them. It's all in the details, too, yeah. like all the little photos of us together. And, yeah, she, and... like, we came to set for the, on the first day, and she had printed actual photos of Natasha and I and put them all over the set. Like, it felt like our apartment. So great. I know, I just wanted to live there. I know. I think you're wearing my ring in this, too. But you're so tiny. It doesn't fit on my thumb. It's an intern and... I think I was just typing really filthy things on that laptop as well. Like, <laughs> I actually had it for you. Anytime yeah. that you have to write something down on, on camera, you're always like, <laughs> just drawn dick pics. <laughs> really hard for me to pretend that I'm bad at beer pong. Um, <laughs> it's really hard for me to pretend that I'm good at beer pong, so. <laughs> so nervous for on screen kissing. Like, so nervous. Cause all like, in real life, damn abs though, at least. <laughs> damn abs though. And I've totally done that before when someone leaves something and then you're like, you <laughs> secretly like wear it. <laughs> like someone's sweater. Like. Oh, that's embarrassing. How is that embarrassing? Honestly, if I was dating a girl who had star stickers, I'd be like, this is the cutest thing ever. Like I love you more. <laughs> like. That was That's even more so embarrassing. Everyone, literally. Everyone could tell you, but my ah, you're so great in this scene. Didn't oh, even you too, man. Because you're so wrapped up in your own head. Dude, so <laughs> my hands were just so greasy. It's so oh, funny because in real life, I eat like Mackenzie does. Yeah. <laughs> like, I know. How the hell? I'm gonna finish this thing. Oh, uh, my controller's okay. all gross now. I just constantly have food in my mouth, and it's all over my body. I, I do sometimes feel like watching the movie. I'm like, I I feel a bit more like Cassie sometimes. And I feel like you're a bit more Mackenzie. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah, 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 totally. Mickey. Tay Swifting it. I just, I don't want anyone to see my belly button ever in real life. Is that a real thing? I, I don't have one. I don't have a belly button. I was made in a pod. <laughs> and I'm like, this is my favorite scene in the movie. I know, I know. I keep on saying that too. This I is my real favorite scene, scene in the movie, though. And it was such a different ending at first. Like, we, it was yeah. completely I think we were both, like, hardcore sobbing, and they ended up not using that take because it was just so over the top, obviously, because <laughs> yeah. we were just for real crying. <laughs> Look at, this is the difference between Natasha and I. Like, Natasha looks like she's just, like, 
casually been at like a magazine shoot with like no. slightly tousled hair Shut and up. I just look like an absolute disaster. I don't <laughs> think that at all. I think quite the opposite. <sighs> I'm gonna go cry now. <laughs> Every time I watch this, I'm always just like. Do you wanna go get a burrito? Yeah, I do. Let's go get a burrito. Okay. I'm really hungry. I'm here with my amazing Carmilla, co-star Elise Bauman. I'm hoping that 2017 will include some more red carpets for us. Yeah, girl. And I also have this like weird fantasy that like Laura and Carmilla will get married someday. So I thought that we could like fantasize a little and create some wedding dresses for each other. Oh, so, yeah, modesty. So, oh shoot, oh. this is not working. <laughs> Very abstract. No, this is no, this is now the thing. This is so that's that. So sure. I'm just gonna put it right in your yeah. pocket. Oh, so yeah. right over my boob. <laughs> oh <laughs> boy. So if you it's nice, I feel great. I've never felt more beautiful. I think that you look so mm. great. I didn't do it. I brought this. Oh, so oh, oh. hello. Hello there. You have really nice arms. As does Laura Hollis. It's weird how much you look alike. It's so oh, yours is nice. Only the best for my Laura. <laughs> we, uh, we, we should go out for dinner now, I think, like this. We should totally. Yeah, I let's go. I don't see anything wrong with that. Yeah, let's go. All right, cool. Bye, guys. Bye. Art Attack growing yeah, up? Yeah, I totally watched Art Attack. Yeah, this is like, this is all our childhood dreams coming true right now. Maybe we should scrap this challenge and just make an Art Attack. Yeah. That's like a neck. I want these, you can't take them. <laughs> Hang on. This is so intense. Oh, it always looks like cobwebs. And oh, I was I was gonna sabotage you, but I can't do that to you. I was gonna cut off some of the bow. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I was going for it. Going for the joke. Too sexy for my sweater. Too sexy. It hurts. This is my interpretation of some like holiday burlesque. I would have worn something like this. All right, you just that seems Are you bothering me? The gift collar, which is uh, to represent um, you know being present. This is just yeah, if you sucks. get hungry. Yeah. Then you know. It's, I really like. Kind of I like your just, um, your technique. The technique right? you used when creating. It. Okay. Happy New Year! I have the honors of doing you first. <laughs> okay, okay, so I have four minutes. It, it, okay, um, and I mean, I have a beautiful canvas to, you know, test out my artistic abilities here. I actually, okay, I'm not just saying this, but I, like, you look so beautiful without makeup. Well, thanks. You look beautiful with makeup. This is nice, this feels nice. I, I was saying that. I want more than four minutes. I know. What? That's actually such a nice color on you. Really? Holy oh, shit, nice. I'm really good at this. I'm, well, <laughs> modest too. <laughs> Oh, you're running out of time. Okay. Okay. This oh. is like very intimate. I feel like this is the like female equivalent of shaving someone. <laughs> well, you can still shave someone. <laughs> there. Yeah. Oh wow, that's. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> what? what have you done? No, don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. Oh, I know. <laughs> 
Okay, look at me. Look at me. Put your face towards my face. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, you look like a fairy princess. Mm. Like a I've always, made a always, huge mistake. Always. That's good. Oh, okay. that's. Mm. It's very. <laughs> it does not this? blend well. Is this even lipstick? I'm not sure. We're going to do something really like art housey, I we'll think. Like it. No! Okay. Yeah. You look like a beautiful fairy doll. <laughs> wow! And Happy New Year, guys. Mwah. <sighs> I just want to save it for later. <laughs> it's in my, no, it's in there. Don't release it. Okay. Don't take your kiss back. Hang on. I'm Elise Bauman from Carmilla, and I have been nominated for the Fan Choice Awards. Thank you for your continued support. I hope that I can inspire all of you to keep creating and, and continue to uh, contribute to the world in such a positive way. A lot of fans tell me that I'm really weird. I'm actually quite flattered by that. I'm Natasha Negovanlis, and I play the broody lesbian vampire Carmilla on the web series Carmilla. Hey, Cream Puffs. I just wanted to thank you again from the bottom of my heart for nominating me for Fan Choice. If I get this award, it is not for me. It is for everyone who has felt like an outsider, and it is for the LGBTQ community, for my community. So thank you so much. I'll do rock, paper, scissor. Rock, paper, scissor. Elise goes for <laughs> what? Um, always. That's telling. That we, <laughs> all, we all went for scissors. There you go. She can't. The worst first date you've ever been on. <laughs> went on Tinder, went into the subway, and then ran into him on the subway. Oh, that's oh, awkward. Man. Whoa, that is bad. Was he stalking oh. me or following you, do you think? That, I didn't think that of that until now. now. <laughs> Okay. Do you want to start easy? Well, like, yeah, yeah, the truth as well, yeah. I guess, because, you know. Have you been the cause of someone breaking up? I haven't intentionally made uh, people break up with each other, but I did kind of, like, nudge it. <laughs> you want to do a dare, dare time? Sing a song of your choice with marshmallows in your yes. mouth. Yes. <laughs> Have you done the chubby bunny challenge? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> One more. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Just Put another player socks on your hand and talk as the sock puppet for the rest of the round. Oh man, who's a clean sock? I mean, I don't like breaking rules. <laughs> oh. I don't know, you do cheat on games a lot. <laughs> what is your funniest first date ever? Um, I went on a date with a comedian. At some point last year, <laughs> it was a funny date because I got a nosebleed like on my way to the date, <laughs> and then I also like walked into a parking meter, and then like they were kind. Of, I kind of like, get the nosebleed from walking into the parking. Meter? No, these were two separate occasions. Yeah. First girl crush. I'm so glad we got this one. Shannon <laughs> <laughs> so Zaman. Oh yeah. From Forty Days and Forty Nights, there was a photo of her mm. in a white tank top and a black skinny tie. I know that photo and it's and the no tie is kind of loose. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Have you ever slept with an ex? Yes. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> like, it took me a very long time too and I, I didn't like, I was like, no, never go back. But yeah. it happened. It happened. <laughs> yeah. All right, there are two left. Two left. Oh, thank God. It's just you and me, kid. Always <laughs> and forever. <laughs> What's the most embarrassing thing you've done on a date? Show up. Dun dun. <laughs> Have you ever kept a secret from your best friend? It has like a like verbal diarrhea syndrome. I should probably learn <laughs> to keep more things to myself because it's like a better way to protect yourself. I don't know. I feel like that's like sinking. It is. It is like I've been sinking this whole time. <laughs> you look at me, it's like snapped in half. I just, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. If it's it's so we feel super tall. <laughs> that's the whole point. <laughs> Slide out of pillow talk.
Valentine's Day, the holiday of love. So, do yeah. you want to have an anti-Valentine's Day party this year? Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah. But the thought that we'd take this opportunity to practice on each other, mm -hmm. like girls do. Well, since we've already practiced kissing a bunch, <laughs> so we're going to practice pickup lines. <laughs> it's like we've just moved backward. But before we do that, I just wanted to ask, can you just feel this for a second? I just want you to, like, it's just so, do you know what, do you know what it's made of? Girlfriend no. material. Whoa. Elise. <laughs> I, that caught me off guard. I can't even see straight anymore when I look at you. So, <laughs> did you catch that one? Wait, oh, that was one of yours? Tasha, I mean, on a scale of one to 10, you're a nine. But I'm the one you need. I was like, <laughs> bitch, please. <laughs> But let's be honest, Elise, we'd make a pretty cute couple. I'm Natasha. Yes. And you can nego my van list anytime. Ooh. Needed to bring my wallet, but I forgot it. Um, oh, why? Well, because I have a library card in there, and I need that because I'm checking you out. <laughs> well, if only I was an Uber driver so I could pick you up. Really? <laughs> Times I think that you should play Buffy because you slay me. <laughs> oh my god, these are gold. <laughs> I just want to bake you a cake that just says you'll do on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we suck at that. Yeah, we. I think that love has a tendency to just kind of creep up on you. Um, I've definitely gone out with people that I was immediately attracted to and, and I, I felt really excited about. And then it turned out that we weren't really compatible at all. So, no, lust at first sight, but I think love takes time. It's, uh, we accept the love we think we deserve. I have the tendency to run away from people who are really good for me or, or who, who maybe offer me a lot of love. And I think it's, it's because for a long time I, I didn't think that I deserved love. I definitely think that you should uh, just forget about it until it happens, because it'll happen when you least expect it. And at least for me personally, finding a partner or a mate has never been a priority for me. I think that true love is unconditional. I think when you can love someone or they can love you and they don't expect anything in return, um, that's, that's the real shit. Have I ever been in love? Yes, absolutely, definitely. And I've been in a lot of different types of love. I think it matters to an extent, but it's not the most important thing in a relationship at all. I'm definitely much more interested in how somebody is as a human being. Uh, I hope that you all know the answer to this. I definitely think it's completely overrated. I think that every day should be an opportunity to do something romantic for someone you love. Uh, and you should, as the most romantic gestures are ones that happen on unexpected days. What? Uh, oh. Hey. Oh. <laughs> I'm good. We're good. Hey everyone, welcome to Kinda TV Live with me, your not so friendly neighborhood Natasha. This is a game called Who's More Likely To? And Who's More Likely To? And then it'd be like, you know, um, poo their pants in public. And then we could write like, you know. Um, who would be more likely to be in a polyamorous relationship? This is a scandalous question. Ooh. <laughs> okay. What? Okay, polyamorous relationship. I put me. I put me. Really? <laughs> I put out me. Out of the two of us? Out of the two of us. Because oh. here's the thing. I think, and I'm being perfectly blunt, you have the challenges with one, let alone juggling around two. <laughs>
You know, it was really funny to, to go through that whole experience and then immediately, I think we had a day off in between filming two weeks of this and then went right into rehearsals for Carmilla. So we were yeah. memorizing Carmilla lines while we were filming that. Yeah, that day off was actually the photo shoot for Carmilla. Yeah. So, so we didn't have any day, day off. off. Yeah. I'm gonna be I mean, I make lists every, every year. This year, I'd like to like buy a couch. I feel like that's a that's a big step into adulthood. Is I, I'm so glad that you're aiming so high. <laughs> it's really fun. We called each other in character, and we changed each other's. Um, like I changed your name to Mackenzie in my phone, and then I remember you texted me one time, and I was like, "Who did?" This? <laughs> and I'm sorry, who is this? I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> One of the improvs that I'm hoping will make it into the boofers is um, the scene where I'm like pretending, I'm like coming up to my mirror. And yeah, and we had these like fake mustaches that we put on the mirror. And then... Hey, Cassie. You're probably wondering why I have developed a fondness for baseball film and, uh, and baseball and lesbian film in the past couple of weeks. Um, hmm. Probably really bad. We filmed it three years ago. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Thanks, Natasha. <laughs> <laughs>
turn away. <laughs> yeah. About China. I hope you know I never meant to hurt you. I only did what I thought was right. Gabrielle, it's all the past. All I want is to be with you right now. You're my best friend. <laughs> Oh, yes, you are. Oh, boy. Immature. <laughs> and there she goes. I was wondering how you are doing in real life. Is it that bad? Like, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, they actually um, reinforced this chair for me. <laughs> something called the Detectives Club, where it was uh, a group of us that would band together and um, my one friend's mom would have mysteries for us to solve. Um, and I think um, That's yeah, it was pretty cute. There's no way for you to fight this. No spell for you to write this.
We are here with Natasha Negovanlis, the star of Carmilla. Now, this is a huge, huge hit on, on the internet, so much so that it was at the fan, uh, the fan zone, and they are crazy about you. Everybody wanted to meet you. Your chemistry with Elise is golden. Like, tell me about that. Was it always fantastic from the moment you met? It was. I have to say, for lack of a better word, there is just this magic when I work with her. Here are the nominees. <laughs> Elaine Joy. Wow! <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Nat Natasha Negovanlis. <laughs> Yannick Bisson. <laughs> Natasha Negovanlis! <laughs> Most of you are wondering who the heck I am. I'm sure it has been an honor and a privilege to provide more positive on-screen representation for the queer community, for my community. And I would not be here today without all of our fans' support, and especially to my beautiful co-star, who is the real backbone of the little web series that could. You inspire me to work harder every day, Elise, so thank you so much for being my on-screen love interest. Thank you. And maybe my real-life one sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but this isn't for me. I think this is for all of my fans who feel like they don't belong or who feel like an outsider. I am very much still the little girl who used to get shoved into lockers. So this one's for all of you. I just wanted to create a video to extend my thanks to everyone who voted for me. I really wish that my scene partner, Elise Bauman, was here. Um, but she was really busy today, uh, unfortunately. But hello, Elise, if you're watching, thank you so much for attending the awards with me as well. Uh, it would have been completely different without you by my side, and I'm so glad that you were there with me. Today, I'm hanging out at Valley Village, or Village de Valeur, for my Quebecois viewers. Salut! Sharing with you some of my favorite tips and tricks for thrift shopping. Oh man, this is so rad. It looks like a big um, like tarot card. Damn it, I wish it fit me. This kind of reminds me of Elise. I feel like she wears these like pretty little white things. Ooh, poop, poopy. Shit. Turd. Undie surprise. But here at the infamous Poop Cafe, which many of you have suggested that I check out, including my lovely Carmilla co-star Elise, who was reminded of me when she rode her bike past this place. It's so nice that when people think of poo, they think of me. Hello, come have a seat. Come Everyone. have a seat. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna play Truth Getting or Dare. Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> Prank call one of your friends <laughs> from another person's phone. <laughs> that sucks. That's so good. I'd tell them you just won a Grammy. Call Annie. Who should I call? Yeah. They're saying Elise. I'll put it near my mic so you can hear this. Guys, don't mess me up. Call Just us. let me do my thing. She's nervous. Oh my goodness. Come on. Hello? Hello. <laughs> We were supposed to prank call you on Kind of TV Live. I'm sorry for disrupting your day. Okay. Also, the fans say hi. Our, our, our Carmilla fans say hello. Are you having a nice day? I am having a lovely day. I am just about to go for a run. It's oh, so nice. It is really nice out. Well, have a great really run. Nice. Thank you so much, Joshua. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys are so funny. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We love you. Bye. Goodbye. You should probably uh, just do this last truth. Name your favorite coworker. Oh my god. Elise Bauman. I've always been a crazy dog lady. Look at this droopy ear. Just this droopy ear. 
yours. I can I keep this one? Why? No, why? No, I want to keep it. Oh, my friend. What do you think? Do you want a new friend? Should I replace you? He's like, no. By the time this video comes out, I will be smack dab in the middle of shooting the Carmilla movie. I'm so for me, the word pride means freedom. It means the freedom to be whoever I want to be and to love whoever I want to love. Everybody's story is different and I'm not an expert, um, but I can say that you should never feel forced to come out. You have to do it when you're ready. It's unique to everybody and you should never pressure anybody else or yourself to come out. Just Take things at your own pace. Way back to childhood, uh, I never actually identified as straight ever once in my life. I do remember like the first time I kissed a girl, uh, like for realsies, was one of my best friends that I definitely had a huge crush on for a long time. And it was my 18th birthday and I was having this like big party and she like pulled me in the bathroom and was like, oh, I wanna gossip with you. But then she was like, I think we should make out. And I was like, there was this like internal like screaming voice inside of me that was like, Yes, like finally! And I think that pansexual is uh, a, a term that, that works for me because who's to say that I might not fall in love with a trans person or a non-binary person? I don't know. I might. It doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. I, I just love people. We made a movie! I, mi I miss it already. It's I only know. been a week it and I miss weird. it already. It's done. What? I'm back from shooting Carmilla with one of my favorite humans. You might know. This gal, Elise Bauman. Hi. Hello. Back to life. Back, Back to, re to reality. <laughs> I was gonna sing a different song, but then I caught on. Oh, what are you gonna sing? Back to reality. Oop, there goes gravity. Oh. Oop, there goes gravity. You would rap. Anyway. <laughs> Love going to set because I can roll out of bed. And then there's coffee and hair and makeup <laughs> at work. I have a lot of favorite parts about working with Natasha. What? What? <laughs> You're so committed to mm. what the story is. Like, what are we telling, and mm -hmm. how is this going to affect people? And you're you're so aware of, um, you know, like that the story means something to people, and so you always bring that with you to set every day. One of my favorite things about working with you is how willing you are to work outside of work hours. I think we just both appreciate how generous we get to, to be with each other. Yeah. And not take it for granted. I th ah, and I really love, that. like, if I'm not feeling focused on set, I can just zone into you and be like, hey, and then we'll just talk to each other in character yeah. in between scenes. Oh, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> so I really love that. Yeah, I love that too. I would say, yeah, there are, because I think there are, like, the key moments where we know it's a special moment and, like, we mm. know it's in the script, but I also feel like they've been together for so long that, yeah. and we're so comfortable with each other that, yeah. like, for sure. I definitely added some just, in yeah. for just, what felt right in the moment. This is my favorite question ever. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, super gay. Hella gay. Super gay. <laughs> Kristen Stewart That's wearing amazing. flannel, driving a Subaru to a Tegan oh and Sarah God. concert. I'd say that's how gay the movie is. Super gay. Super gay. It's not new anymore, and so I, I really had to think about that when we were acting together and think like, Oh yeah, it's been five years, yeah. so they're still affectionate with each other, but it's in a much more like, kind of like domestic, like warm way, mm -hmm. where sometimes when people are, I, I feel like when you first sleep with someone for the first time, you might be sleeping together, but you're not necessarily like touching or interacting all the time yeah. in ways that are just like hugs or like cuddling yeah. and things like that. So it was really nice to explore that aspect of their relationship as well. Yeah. Okay, describe the movie in three words. Go. Okay. Um, relationships. Fear. Mm. And forgiveness. Mysterious. Mm -hmm. Nostalgic. Mm -hmm. And drive. Mm, yes. Or like yes. driven. I like those. You'll see. You'll see.